More than 100 people reportedly protested on Step San Francisco Bay Area Courthouse on Monday, demanding dismissal of a George Soros-funded district attorney over handling case against three alleged gang members who shot and killed an Asian toddler. The trio will appear in court at the end of April. Newly elected District Attorney Pamela Price took over in January after running a progressive campaign that prioritized rehabilitation over prosecution. SAN Francisco Region Soros also requests the Judge T.O. withdraw from all cases, rejecting the agreement regarding alleged killing last week, Price said his office was reviewing case against the three men accused of killing Wu, prompting speculation that he might deviate from charges brought by his predecessor. The liberal DA, who is black, vehemently denied that race would affect prosecution and instead turned to its mission to exterminate racism in our criminal justice system. Members of AAPI community were also present in the crowd outside Alameda County's main courthouse on Monday, chanting slogans such as, Do Your Job, Recall Price, and Justice for Jasper. Stuart Chen, chairman of the Oakland Chinatown Improvement Council, translated a letter from Wu's immigrant mother, who met with Price last week about her son's case. We lost an innocent and beautiful life. As a mother, I can neither accept nor forgive myself for not helping my son get his due. I want the maximum punishment allowed by law." Butch Ford, the assistant district attorney for Alameda County, said Price had put him on leave for criticizing how he was running the office. He told the San Francisco Chronicle that Price is not interested in jail time, but in diversion or non-jail alternatives. Jasper's life was stolen. His s need no distraction, they need to go to jail," said Ford. Among the speakers were the families of other crime victims demanding justice. Barbara Nguyen spoke behalf of David Nguyen, a 28-year-old sheriff's candidate who was fatally shot on his way home Interstate 580 over the summer. Virginia Nia spoke on behalf of her late husband, TV News security guard Kevin Nia, who was shot and killed in Oakland in 2021. Da's oath of struggle prosecutors resign over Da's radical agenda financed by Soros Nia addressed Price at the rally, saying, please do your job. Protect us, the victims, their families. Do your job. Help us put these criminals in jail. KTVU reported that a recent memo from Price's office directed prosecutors not to make any compensation improvements except in special circumstances. CBS News also reported in March that Price told the assistant district attorney to stop using gang or other enhancements unless they get approval from a supervisor. In a video message last week, Price said Wu had assured his parents that their son's alleged S would be held accountable, but no decision had been made on specific charges. I have assured Jasper Wu's parents that the men we believe are responsible for his are charged with very serious crimes and will be held accountable. Price said on April 6. What should we pursue and what should we not pursue? While we will never be able to make up for the of their child, what we can do is make sure this doesn't happen to another family like this. Price said there were 154 shots fired on San Francisco Bay Area highways in 2022 alone. Commenting on Wu's case, Price said, this particular tragedy is being used by people with political agendas to divide our diverse society. The kind of racist messages my office has received and directed at me personally are unprecedented. Our diversity is our strength. Those who claim that race somehow influences the prosecution of this case are mistaken and are making a painful situation more painful for our family and community. I have dedicated my life to advancing Rev's values. Criticism of Price has increased since the district attorney's office secured a plea deal for triple suspect Delonzo Logwood. In another video message last week, Price said that judge, who rejected the plea bargain, requested his disqualification from Logwood case, as well as from all future criminal cases that will be prosecuted by his office. The five-year-old girl suffered fatal blow while riding a horse on her way to family birthday party with her parents, KTVU reported.